In this tutorial, we will implement the collectibles device. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And if you want to access the code of this tutorial or are looking for help, you can check our Patreon in the description. Let's continue with the tutorial. Hi, today we'll make a nice little device that you can use in your various types of games, which is called, which is called the collectibles device. This will allow us to have collectibles in our island, like you would have a having a typical RPG game. So when you think of a collectible like that, it consists of a couple basic th things. Um, first, the mesh itself, then the item that the player collects and puts in their inventory, then the interaction me mechanism in between. We will define a collectible, so we will define a collectible data class that satisfies all our needs for this. As I said, we have all the things we need here. Um, I mean, well, almost everything. I think most of these are pretty straightforward, but maybe you might have a question or two for item index to grant and uh, cooldown time. Uh, cooldown time basically is the spawn time of the item after it has been collected, but I'm not calling it spawn time because we won't be actually spawning anything. We will just disable and hide the button and the prop after collecting and then enable and show them after the cooldown time has ended. Remember I have said that we have almost everything here? Well, the item index to grant is connected to that. To give items to the player, we will use an item grantor which will be on the main device down, down here. Um, and the index is basically the index for that item grantor. So this part is actually crucial. If you don't set that set this index here properly so that it matches the item you want, you will have a different item or no items dropping um, after the player collects a collectible. So before going into the main device, we need a way for this class, collectible data class, to tell the main device that this specific collectible button was interacted with and the item was collected. So we'll add a reference for the main device for that and an event function. So now, don't get hooked up on that on this error. We will define this function later. So right now, what we'll do is uh, we'll start with the main device, where we will have an array of these collectible data. And first of all, we'll initialize all these collectible data in the onBegin function, just in a for loop.
All right, as I said, we just did the initialization here in the loop. We set the required variables and stuff. Now, let's continue with this on collected function to grant items to the player. Now you see, in a loop we grant the required amount of items, then we disable the button and hide the prop. It's just simple stuff. Then we spawn an async function called show collectible. In here we'll simply show back the prop and enable the button after waiting for the cooldown time. All right, um, and the, after we show it, after we now we show it after waiting, and um, this is all we need. So the call is all done, and we'll continue with the editor. Now I'll set up a very simple scene here with a few collectibles, and I'll set the rest of the devices. Then I'll play test it. But the crucial thing here is to set the item item grantor so that the Granted items are always dropped at the player's location, so that it looks like a collected item. Other than that, just be sure you are setting the editable properties on the main device correctly, and then you should be good to go.
Okay, now let's see. Let's let's see the collectibles. Yep, um, the names are set correctly. Even I interact with the flowers. Yep, I get them on the ground. And same with the mushrooms. And then after three seconds pass, the flowers are visible again. And after five seconds pass, the mushroom is visible again. I mean, you can set the amount to cool down to props to items to whatever you want basically and that's why uh, this collectibles device is really ver versatile since you can use any prop you can use any uh, item in the item branch you want and then you know you can set the properties of the collectible data in any way you want um i mean and uh, this device is can be used in a variety of games even in like small pvp games you could put custom collectibles for health and stuff and so that was all um, thanks for watching and um, to access the code of this video you can check our patreon a like subscribe and share if you have enjoyed and also leave a comment on what tutorial you would want to see next see you later